Sure, so on June 17th in Des Moines, we're organizing what we've been calling the Iowa Drinking Water Symposium. It has a little bit more of a dramatic title uh, that we've been advertising as Flint, Could It Happen Here? And so what we wanted to do was try to raise awareness of drinking water quality and the reliability of our drinking water resources in the state of Iowa. So uh, since Flint, a lot of folks have been asking, could something like that happen here? So we've got a great panel of speakers that are coming to talk not just about lead issues like what happened in Flint, but also a broader range of issues that are relevant to Iowa, thinking about the current state and what we have to look forward to with our water supplies going into the future what challenges we might have on the horizon. The day is going to be broken up into three or four different panels, and one will be devoted to lead and copper issues, which are most directly relevant to Flint. And I think that problem is relevant to small cities and, or small communities and, and larger cities alike, all depending on the quality of their infrastructure and how well they're treating the water supply. We also have a session devoted to agricultural impacts on drinking water, really trying to reframe the discussion about nutrient runoff, less about this being an environmental pollution issue, but a public health issue, which is really what's driving the lawsuit in Des Moines. Uh, and then in the third panel, we will talk about things beyond nitrate, because with the lawsuit pending in Des Moines, nitrate and nutrients has really sort of dominated the airwaves and our discussions of water quality, but there's so much more that we should be thinking about. and so. Uh, two speakers we'll have in that session. One is going to be entirely focused on small water system issues and so we're delighted to have partnership to the Iowa Rural Water Association and there'll be a speaker there sort of talking about the challenges that are unique to small systems. We'll also have someone that can speak more to the urban perspective of what we need to be doing to manage things like stormwater runoff better. I think we're expecting a broad range of attendees and so whether we, we were able to get um, continuing education units uh, applied to attending the symposium which we think is a plus because it'll help us actually bring in folks that are operators from a variety of water uh, providers. So we expect everybody from uh, municipal uh, employees, people that might work in, in drinking water delivery, uh, to academics, to folks from the private sector as well as government. So we do have that last panel that'll have a state representative and a, and a state senator that'll be there talking policy as well as several of those other state and federal agencies that will have representation.